My name is uh, Shalesh Kaushal. I'm uh, here at the University of Florida Department of Ophthalmology. I'm uh, the head of the retina service. I'm a clinician scientist uh, who sees patients with retinal diseases and performs surgery on those who need it and also um, actively involved in research, basic research in identifying uh, some of the cellular and molecular events related to retinal and macular degeneration. In the next 15-20 years, uh, it will be particularly exciting uh, in ophthalmology and in specific in, in retinal diseases and retinal um, research, in part because of the tremendous advances we've uh, had in the past regarding the genetics and also some of the fundamental biological pathway understandings we've acquired uh, in, involved in retinal and macular degeneration. And so one might imagine uh, in the next five to six years, five to ten years, maybe even longer, uh, we will continue to, uh, to understand those disease processes and then develop rational uh, therapeutics, uh, treatments as it were, based on that understanding. And so I would categorize the types of approaches that will emerge um, in, the, in, in that period of time include the following. Uh, gene therapy, which is already met with some degree of success in at least three uh, phase one clinical studies. One, of, uh, as I mentioned, that's being done here at the University of Florida. The other is, uh, of course, uh, captured in, in the public press as well, is uh, the use of stem cells. And that field has burgeoned uh, and grown uh, with regards to their use in retinal disease and potentially other uh, diseases of the eye as well. Novel small molecules being developed, uh, i.e. drugs, that could be used for uh, various diseases of the retina and again in ophthalmology in general, that has really started to d develop and that pace of those discoveries um, I think is partly reflected by the interest in the pharmaceutical industry in the United States and abroad to spend and invest dollars uh, into understanding um, and developing programs that, uh, research programs and, and, and pharmaceutical programs to identify new molecules given that the number of patients with these diseases is increasing worldwide. Well, the Florida High Tech Initiative and, and High Tech Corridor has uh, been, I think, a, a wonderful boon for the state. And in addition, to, uh, in my own instance, uh, one of our companies uh, that's out at the Alachua Bioincubator, University of Florida Bioincubator, uh, just north of the main campus here, uh, is where one of our companies is located. Um, and that, that relationship with the University of Florida has been excellent and has allowed the company to grow uh, in ways that it, uh, otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to do. And in fact, uh, in the short time that uh, um, this company, Bicam, has existed, they've already made fairly significant, nice progress to do, towards developing novel therapeutics for retinal degenerations. And I would imagine other companies like it also enjoy this relationship with the University of Florida, which can only benefit not only the university, but uh, the new companies, uh, biotech companies in specific, that are being spun out from the university.